Jay Johnson was introduced today as the new head baseball coach at Louisiana State. Now, I laid out last week why the Tigers program is above Arizona's. It's simple to me. The last 27 years, LSU has been to the NCAA tournament 24 times. Over that same period, the Wildcats have been 12 times, half as much. And it was clear listening to Johnson talk today that this was Jay Johnson's dream job. He referenced the influence on his career held by legendary Tigers coaches Skip Bertman and Paul Maneri, two coaches he'd really never met but admired from afar. I just view this as the ultimate. And you can thank these two men right there for that. It was a great place that I was at. And, and what made it great was the people. But this is the opportunity of my lifetime. And Johnson went on to say it was the people, and in particular, the players that made leaving Arizona a tough decision to make. That's the only difficulty. The rest of it is, let's go. And there was probably one place in the country that it was a let's go attitude. We're standing here right now. So in that, de in that degree, it was not difficult at all. Well, who's going to be the next head baseball coach here at Arizona? Well, my first choice was Nate Yeske, but it does not appear that that is going to happen. Yeske is reportedly heading to Texas A&M to become the Aggies pitching coach. We had another chance to see a name that was out there during the regional tournament here in Tucson. You see Santa Barbara's Andrew Chekets there. He's taken the Gauchos to five NCAA tournaments and one College World Series in his 10 seasons on the Central Coast. And Athletics Director Dave Hickey, he's a former college baseball player. He's got a lot of contacts in the game, so he should have a lot of good people to choose from.